Hello everybody, my name is Nerd Computer Man, and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange. This is the last episode, not of us, but of the three episodes that are in this game. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually glad this game is ending. I am tired of, of uh, I'm not tired of playing it, I'm just tired of it in a way. It's not as interesting as the first game was to me. I don't know if it's because, you know, I played that game like ages ago and it changed or whatever, but I don't know, I don't like it. I'd rather prefer it a sequel than a prequel, but it's whatever. I'll take this time to um, address the elephant in the room. Uh, yeah, I changed my camera from my right to my left so that you guys see this wall. Which actually kind of helps me out because, as you know, I don't do my bed that often. And another thing, I had to put my PC on the right, on my desk. I didn't have to, I wanted to. And so, because of that, I had to move my tripod over to the left. And along with my lights, so it's still fine. And I got a new microphone. So, hopefully if everything goes well in post, you should be hearing everything through this. I want to tell you all of it, but are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. Heck yeah. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother, but the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Your birth mother. Ooh, so ominous. I'm sorry. What's happening now? I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. I'm right here. Good. I need you. was in high school there was There's one a weird person story mode or storytelling device here her teachers her friends sarah was everyone's favorite every boy wanted to date her dang this screen tearing really i could barely believe it when she picked me sometimes i think that's what kept me blind for so long She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. What does that mean? She started doing drugs? Because if you do remember, she does mess around with Frank. pursuing college, careers, families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Drugs, I'm telling you. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. Jeez, that screen tearing. Why is that happening? There was so much love, but... I mean, I have a pretty good idea I to why it's happening. Blind. Sorry to keep talking over the story, but like... 
We didn't come here to talk about that. We came here to However listen to this much story. However she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. I so called it. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. Heck no. Look at what the that, age. You got a baby no in the other room. What happened. And you're shooting up. That's graceful. She would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. And then here's the reunion that we saw. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel? It was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. What did she do? I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe i see where he's coming from like that totally makes sense like she was she was like she, instead of taking care of her daughter she decided to shoot up some heroin so yeah i would have dipped too so that was but, like the first never time telling you've her seen ever though or spoken with her in 15 years i don't know years? about that one no i send her money every single month It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. True, we already did see her with Even Frank. That means true, she didn't clean her life Rachel up. Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <sighs> Another Rachel. very good point. I think I need to lie down.
Um, but you, yo, they need to stop. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. I agree. Do si do. Uh, Rachel? I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Hey, Rachel. I'm glad you're here, Chloe. Of course. We were so close to making our break last night. Now... Why would I need this? It's a... Uh very valid question that I have. Dang. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. Hey. This light needs more light ah okay and that is where i come to play wonder what i could find around here to bright That works. All ready for Rachel's light. Hey. Check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. 
I've always loved stars. Why? There shouldn't be a reason to why those lights remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then the, I learned the stars the shouldn't be moving. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. The fact that she's here right now, that she came here for me, I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? No, I don't think so. Of course not. I mean, like, why but wouldn't you go see your it, birth mother? It might be after? tough like, to just track that, to, her just down. to see at least. Yeah. Like, come on. That's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. Will it work, though, is I the question. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. <laughs> really? I'll give it my best. I know you will. But even if we find her, how will I talk to her? You gotta figure that what out yourself I because I, I don't know. I've never done this. After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be.
the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? It's called love. Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. Okay. Uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, what I'm not okay with, though, is the fact that those stars should not be rotating because it was put on a flashlight on the ground with no rotating device at all. Anyways, I'm going to have to end that episode there. Sorry to say, guys, but that's what it is. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to subscribe. Leave a like if you will. Um, I'm going to try to crank out these next couple episodes as quickly as possible. But... Who knows, because I'm playing episode 3, like, February 7th, so. Yeah. By the time I'm done this, I'm, they might release a whole new other game, for all I know. Just, whatever, though. Um, see ya.